Jihadist militants from ISIS have overrun a key Syrian border town after pouring in reinforcements from neighboring Iraq. The takeover comes two days after ISIS declared an Islamic state on the Syrian and Iraqi territory it currently controls. This unverified video apparently shows militants parading tanks and other combat vehicles around eastern Syria. The rapid ISIS advance comes on the heels of Washington releasing half a billion dollars in military support to Syria's opposition, a move that stoked fresh fears the U.S. is actually aiding jihadists. Investigative journalist Matt Carr says the U.S. helped bring about ISIS militants in the first place. ISIS is not just a creation of the Syrian war. ISIS um, has its origins in Iraq itself in the um, jihadist resistance to the U.S. occupation. When they withdrew their troops from Iraq um, after the so-called surge, there was a view that um, that battle had been won, um, that those groups had been defeated or at least neutralized. That probably never really happened. And um, ISIS has been empowered in Iraq, not just because of what happened in Syria, but also by the incompetent sectarianism and corruption of the Maliki government in Iraq. Um, so all these different forces have created a situation in which it's very probable that um, Iraq could fragment into three um, statelets, because I can't see at the moment, for the time being, any kind of pan-sectarian movement that could overcome um, the divisions that are ripping Iraq to shreds. Leader of ISIS urging Muslims worldwide to come to Iraq and Syria to help build an Islamic state there. In an audio message, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi vowed to fight, vowed to lead the fight, quote, until Rome is conquered. This map reveals ISIS ambitions to take over more than a dozen countries in the name of jihad. The proposed Islamic state was spanned from Asia, across the Middle East, North Africa, even into Europe. ISIS hasn't gotten direct help from the West, but militants reportedly seized the lion's share of U.S. aid meant for the moderate Syrian opposition. And that's not stopping Washington, though, from pouring more support to the rebels in Syria. RT's Marina Portnaya explains the U.S. insists it's not responsible for fueling regional violence. All over the Arab world, America has left behind its military footprint. I believe America is exceptional, in part because we have shown a willingness through the sacrifice of blood and treasure to stand up not only for our own narrow self-interest, but for the interests of all. America's exceptional armed forces have invaded Afghanistan and Iraq, dropped bombs on Libya, Pakistan, and Yemen, and reportedly trained rebels fighting to overthrow the government in Syria, directly leading to the insurgency in Iraq, where extremists have now declared their own caliphate. It's not enough to just say that we are exceptional one way or the other. The reason we can point to American exceptionalism is because we've done exceptional things. And we do exceptional things. And we have to live up to that standard. But time and time again, Washington's eagerness to involve itself in foreign conflicts has fueled sectarian divisions, creating an exceptionally dangerous circumstance. The U.S. policy, unfortunately, lately, has destroyed and made a mockery of this claim. You know, what they have done in Libya, what they have done in Syria and continue to do it, what they've done in Iraq. And it, it, is, it is all something that uh, doesn't jive with claiming any kind of uh, exceptionalism. And yet, in each case, Washington has washed its hands of any responsibility. The United States of America is not responsible for what happened in Libya, nor is it responsible for what is happening in Iraq today. In the absence of U.S. military action, Iraq is warning that it could ask Iran to carry out airstrikes against the jihadist group ISIS. That could throw a wrench into the works of American foreign policy, potentially having to rely on an adversary to defeat a threat that Washington itself is blamed for indirectly creating. Marina Portnaya, RT.